How's it guys? JP here from Pulse Pythons with uh, my little sidekick over here, Logan. Um, the reason I uh, actually started the whole YouTube channel and everything is because uh, my son was the one that said, everybody gets famous on YouTube. Now, I'm not doing it about the famousness. Um, it's more about getting the love of all these beautiful reptiles out there. So, today we're going to be talking about the chocolate ball python. The chocolate ball python is literally what I'm holding in my hands. Let me get a little bit of the sawdust off here. So, this is a chocolate ball python. This is a chocolate calico. Um, obviously, this comes from Con Prinsloer, um, one of the, well, well-known ball python breeders from, from uh, a few years ago. And um, the reason why it's called calico is obviously, can you see those white spots on the sides? So, uh, it's not many. It doesn't show up like the other calicos, um, but again, it's got the white spots. I've been told this is a, a chocolate calico and um, we're about to prove it. So the chocolate ball python was first sort of proven out in 1999 by BHB Reptiles, which is Brian Barczyk. Everybody knows Brian. And um, this is a codom. So codominant is almost like a dominant. It's just that the co-dominant gene also has a super form. So with the chocolate ball python, obviously, um, if you had to breed two chocolate ball pythons together, then you're going to get what they call the super form. And um, the normal sort of, or oh, I wouldn't say normal, but the chocolate ball python as a whole is, is similar to a normal with the whole black background. Um, but the, the side patterning is uh, obviously more like a golden brown sort of, Color, well, chocolate, to be honest. And um, once you bred a chocolate to a chocolate, then obviously you get a super form, and the super form loses the black, and it becomes more of a chocolate brown, and um, also the patterning is very reduced, which is why I'm wondering if this boy isn't a super form, which we'll know this season, because obviously we're going to breed him to a couple of girls. Um, I've put him to a, a pastel jester. I've put him to a... Bumblebee girl, I've put him to a phantom leopard. So those are his three girlfriends for the season. And we're hoping that obviously we're going to produce some nice genetics mixed with the chocolate. And then obviously the calico in between. Um, Logan is sitting over here at the moment with one of the jester babies. So can I take that off? <laughs> Let's swap. So you give me that one, you take that one. Right. So, Jester is sort of a newish gene here in South Africa. Um, it was produced, or well, not produced, or brought in from BPM, which is Wally and Russi. Also very, very, very well-known ball python breeders here in, well, especially here in Johannesburg, Pretoria way, but also in South Africa. And they've been mentioned a couple of times, Justin Kabelka and the boys. Uh, Mutation Creation Canada has mentioned them already on one of their sort of thingies with the whole big camera. Um, so this boy is a firefly jester. So jester is sort of like an enhancing gene in a way. Um, nothing's really been proven. Nothing's really been set in stone. But as you can see, this is a beautiful boy. He is a firefly, which is obviously pastel and fire. And then obviously jester is very, very clean. The patterning on the sides are very, very clean. And... Um, so I'm hoping to be able to produce this little boy. We'll prove him out sometime soon. Uh, the super form of the jester, as far as I'm aware, has never been produced. Um, this is his sister, which is a fire jester. If you can just see how beautiful and how clean this girl is, her markings are beautiful. There's no pixelation on the sides or, well, there is a bit, but not that much. She's very, very, very clean. So I've been told it's very similar to sort of the X gene, um, again, not proven. It's, it's something that, that we're working with. It's something that's going to be beautiful to work with the future. I have got a female here, which, um, is on loan from, uh, another snake breeder, which is a pastel jester, which is obviously the mom's, um, the mom of these two holdbacks that I've got. Going back into the chocolate gene. Thanks boy. So Cadbury over here is um, obviously our chocolate boy. I'm hoping that he proves out to be a super. Um, it would be nice for us to have a super chocolate. 
I want to take this eventually. So with the girls that he's bred with this season, I want to eventually take this sort of to your desert ghost, your clown and your pied. I'm not a very big fan of clown. Everybody's loving the clown. I just think it's being overproduced at the moment. But again, that's only my own personal opinion. I like pied. I've always liked pied. Everything that I'm doing in my collection and the collection of the genetics has to do with pied. So I would like to do a chocolate calico leopard phantom pied or a uh, chocolate calico pastel desert ghost um, just to see what the different things are. I mean, I think this is a, a genetic that's, well, it's fairly, it's been in South Africa for a while, but not many guys have really worked with chocolate. And I think it's going to be one of those dark genes that you're going to have to have in your collection. Um, I'm liking it. And I think you can only do better with this genetic. I'd like to bring the calico up a little bit more. Um, maybe sort of like the calico enchi where there's a lot of white on the side. I think the contrast is going to be very, very good. Again, guys, I mean, this is my second season of breeding. Last season, I only bred the snakes that I wanted for my bucket list, which were my purple passions and mystic potions and clowns and visual pods and things like that. But my, my main goal is all around pod. This year, I'm doing a lot of desert ghost um, and I want to do desert ghost into the pod project. Pied clown, desert ghosts, um, a lot of recessive genes, but I think chocolate is going to be one of my key factors in some of the genetics, especially the darker genetics that we want to do. Logan also wants to get, get into the world. He's gotten into the ball pythons now. Logan was really doing, what was it? Corn snakes. So you did mainly corn snakes. And you had quite a few. You had about 40 of them at one stage. Yeah. And um, Logan decided corn snakes weren't manly enough for him. Um, so Logan wanted to get into the ball python scene. So Logan has got a male named Sunrise. Sunrise. So what is Sunrise? He is a pastel spider, super pastel enchi. No. What was he? <laughs> so he is a super pastel Mojave spider. So Logan wants to sort of breed his male. I've given him a couple of normal females just so that he can learn. But Logan also has to get into that. But that's going to be a different video where the two of us sitting there and Logan's going to talk a little bit about Sunrise, his uh, favorite pet snake, and some of the females that we've put, we've put him to. So uh, we'll get more into detail with that. But with the chocolate gene, guys, I don't think you can go wrong with this. I'm hoping this is a super form. Um, I think the Calico might just have maybe reduced the pattern. It's a beautiful snake. I mean, I don't see much black on this. Um, and as, as far as the research that I've done is that the super form would be a dark chocolate brown and the, the, the standard or should I say the normal chocolate um, would be more black and this snake really doesn't have black. Everything is dark chocolate brown. So I'm hoping he's super and uh, obviously if he is a super then every single one of my babies will be chocolate from the three girlfriends that he's got this year. Anyway guys, this is this video. Uh, we're hoping to do a couple of more videos and um, get the get the content out there. We need to support the South African breeders. There's a lot of us out here and a lot of new guys that are starting to breed this season as well. So it is really, really nice um, to get the younger generation involved and uh, to promote this beautiful, beautiful hobby. Please like, subscribe, um, hit the notification button. Well, how's it going, boy? Turn on notifications. Turn on notifications and... Most Billy goes is like, hit the like, hit do, 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 do. Guys, please like, subscribe our videos. You can see more of me and Logan and uh, more of our breeding season this year. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Laka from South Africa. Cheers. Also, shout out to Tempe's Graphics. He made us these shirts and hats. Peace. Yes. So, yeah, local to us in Kempton Park. Sorry, guys. Is uh, a graphic design, well, not a graphic designer, but a, a t shirt printing sort of store. Um, Tempe's Graphics, um, they did the shirts for us today, um, just a trial period and uh, obviously looking good. Um, this is not sponsored by them whatsoever. We went there to go and purchase and uh, decided we want to put their name onto our logo or our branding. So uh, soon we will be getting sponsored by them, hopefully, and uh, then we'll have some merch to be selling, Pulse Pythons merch, stuff like that at the shows. So uh <laughs> guys have a wonderful lacquer day go and have a lacquer bra lacquer beer we'll catch you guys soon
Have a good one. Peace.